since you can still do so with the Better Business Bureau. Coming up in the next half hour, we'll talk about some of the red flags you need to be aware of. Reporting from the newsroom, I'm Natasha Trindade. Natasha, thank you. The City of Mission wants to warn you about a fake account circulating on Facebook. It is called City of Mission TX Government. City officials say the account has suspicious links and claims users have won a prize. The real City of Mission account warns followers of this fake account and is not affiliated with the City of Mission page. You are urged not to click on the links shared by that unauthorized account. In your community news, if you are looking to take up a new hobby this summer, well, listen up. Here's your chance. Danielle's got info on one interesting quilting event for us to check out. I know. You don't hear about people quilting too often, huh? Well, no, not too often because it is kind of a, an art form that mm -hmm. has maybe died down a little bit. But hey, this event is probably the perfect opportunity to ramp it back up. You're so right, Daisy. So whether you know how to quilt or you're just looking to get into it, this event could help you out, okay? It's the Rio Grande Valley Quilt Guild event. It's happening this Saturday, and it's a great chance to, uh, for existing and aspiring quilt makers to just come together in one place. Now, quilting has actually been around for a long time, okay? According to artgallerifabricsblog.com, the word quilt comes from the Latin word culcida, which refers to layers of fabric that are being stitched together in decorative design. Design. And the hobby was brought forth by crusaders who were coming from Europe to the Middle East in around the late 11th century. Although the very earliest form of quilting actually dates back all the way to the ancient Egyptian times. So it's pretty interesting. And the event is going to be good because various participants are going to get to learn how to quilt and all attendees are going to be able to share tips and tricks when it comes to special skills. Now, it's all happening from 9 in the morning to around the 11 a.m. hour. It's this Saturday again and anyone uh, 17 and up can definitely try it out, whether you're looking to learn again or you're looking to hone in on your existing skills. So there's also going to be various vendors there on site. Pretty cool. So you can take a look at the different tools and accessories that might be helpful for your projects. Plus, if you need a little bit of a motivation about why quilting is so cool and about why you should really try to learn it, then there's gonna, even going to be special speakers at the event outlining just that. On top of, of course, interesting fun facts pertaining to quilting. Now, the event is free of charge, so that's great, and you can even join a local RGB quilting club there on site. They meet up every month on each second Saturday, which is great, so you can, uh, you know, you meet other like-minded individuals from the valley and just continue to come together to share in plenty of quilting fun. So, if that does sound like fun, if it sounds interesting, and maybe a cool way to spend some of your summertime, then you can visit quiltinghub.com for all the details. Again, it's all going down this Saturday in Westlaco, and you can find some of the info that you're going to need to know right there on your screen. Uh, yeah, I mean, Daisy, I'm just curious. I mean, Chris has tried so many activities. <laughs> By chance, have you tried quilting, Chris? No, I have not, no. <laughs> Um, but I'm really impressed of like the t-shirt, like the old people get old mm -hmm. t-shirts of like, mm -hmm. you know, schools and, and they make them into a quilt. That's actually pretty cool. Very yeah. nice. Quilting Chris. Yeah, <laughs> quilting Chris. And you know, sometimes that quilt is, it has that different feel because it's a little heavier. Mm -hmm. So it's more cozy. I know you may not want a quilt to throw on right now, <laughs> yeah. but you know, winter will be here and mm -hmm. we do have those sometimes very frigid days. So. Right. That's always good to have around. Yeah, and my grandma, she had like sewed a lot and like she made a bunch of quilts for us when we were little. So I, for me, it's like very sentimental, although mm -hmm. I can't do that. So yeah. I'm guessing maybe for others, it'll be like that too. You can make for a special sure. gift for someone. For yeah. sure, definitely. Yeah. Usually they are very meaningful because of the mm -hmm. things that they stitch together. Something so. you can't get anywhere else. Definitely, sure. thank you, Danielle. <laughs> yeah. The U.S. military in Mexico to fight the cartels? Well, yeah, that's one proposal lawmakers are putting on the table on Capitol Hill. We'll have the details coming up. And here's a live look right now from the DHR Health Cam in Edinburgh. We're dealing with wet roadways due to rain falling across the valley.